Hey everybody, it's Ginger on Wheels here again. Thanks for stopping by the channel where we get to test and unbox the latest electrically wheeled gadgets. Today we're gonna unbox and test the VSET 9 Plus, so buckle up and get ready to ride. Okay, here it is. It's the VSET 9 Plus from RevRides, an amazing source for electric scooters in the US. This VSET features a 15.6 amp hour battery, 8.5 inch tires, and a top speed of around 30 miles per hour. So let's open it up and see exactly what's inside this box. Inside the top, you'll see a few big chunks of foam holding the scooter in place. This foam has compartments, and in the top you'll see in this compartment there's two small adhesive reflectors, half of the charger, and a small but very powerful multi-tool, complete with carrying case. Next up, we come across the user manual, and this user manual is in full color and has color business cards from RevRides. I also like this manual because it shows all the error codes and setup steps. Things that other scooter manuals will gloss over, this one goes into in full detail, so it's great for beginners. Aside from having outstanding customer support, one of the reasons I recommend RevRides is this little baby right here. It's the RevRides Quality Control Checklist. Every scooter from RevRides has been tested, checked, and dialed in before you even hop on. Underneath the manual, you'll see this little white box, which just contains the other half of the charger. This is a 1.5 amp hour charger, and unfortunately it does take 10 full hours to charge your scooter from dead to 100%. Now that we've covered all the inbox accessories, let's pull this thing out and figure out how to set it up. First, you'll want to remove the remaining packaging and use the latch to make sure that your stem is locked upright. Full color instructions for this can be found in the manual. Then you want to take your handlebars, move them into place, and use the turquoise colored bezel to screw and lock them into place. This scooter comes with three NFC, or Near Field Communication, keys. One of these keys is required to unlock the scooter every time you want to use it, but you can also program your phone to become the key. Either way, just use your phone or key to tap and ride. This scooter has two 650 watt motors capable of 30 miles per hour, as well as dual cable actuated disc brakes. But that's not all. One of my favorite features about this scooter is the suspension. It's basically a trampoline. Here, I'll show you. I'm 210 pounds and this is what it looks like when I bounce on the scooter. And this is what it looks like with a 160 pound rider bouncing on the scooter. Either way, it's really comfortable. Once you use your included multi-tool to tighten the brakes and throttle into your desired position, you are ready to ride. One of the things that immediately stands out is again, the suspension. It's just so dang comfortable that it's hard to comprehend. It feels like riding on a cloud compared to scooters like the E-Move Cruiser, High Boy Titan Pro, or even the Dualtron Storm. The comfort isn't just attributed to the suspension though. It's also got very ergonomically shaped handlebars and grips, as well as taller than normal deck to bar height. This V-Set stem is 40 inches tall and sturdy as a rock. Compared to a High Boy Titan Pro, which is only 35 inches tall and kind of wiggly, these handlebars are amazing. Even the grips are ergonomically shaped. Overall, this scooter is extremely surprising. It packs a ton of punch in a very small frame and I actually feel like it's re-sparked my joy for scooters a bit. Finally, a company that tried and succeeded to make a scooter better than last year. If you're as excited as I am to put this thing through the paces, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks everyone, I'll catch you next time for the range test where we will test exactly how far this scooter goes on one full charge.